Dziękuję. Dziękuję moim polskim przyjaciołom. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. This grouping of three very popular laybys, collectively known as Dobbing Wood, offers easy access to the lake for those carrying paddle boards, kayaks, canoes and scuba gear. We'll be looking at the laybys 1 and 2 and finally the third one which might require scuba divers to be mentally prepared for some sensitive work to be undertaken. Okay guys, so this is the entry point. A little more than this at Lear by 3. Steps. And then out onto the beach. All three Dobbin Wood sites offer a firm lake bed of shingle until about 30 to 40 feet out where it plunges away sharply to about 25 odd meters before leveling out gradually down to 42 meters. Parents and children beware. For divers in the 10 meter range you may see perch and trout finning along beside you. For those heading into the 40 meter zone look for sticklebacks. I had always thought sticklebacks stayed in the shallows amongst the weeds. But in Ulls water at 40 meters there seems to be very little there to attract sticklebacks but there must be something. I should point out they are not always there so please don't be disappointed. Is it Kuan? That's Ibrahim. 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 Tanya. 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 Yeah. Tanya. Hi, it's Paul. Yeah. Tanya. Yeah. Tanya. Yeah. Oh, pleased to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We've got the barbecue on the go. And that's the barbecue. <laughs> You're well organised here. So this looks brand new. Brand new, yeah. yeah. Well, be careful out there. Where are you all from? Again? Where? Poland. Poland. From Poland, yeah. So you come from Eng from Poland to England just to do no, this? No, no. We live near Manchester. Originally we are from Poland. Ah, right. very good. And Jinkwe. That's the only. I hope you don't get a puncture. <laughs> I think they are strong enough. Well, the gentleman's saying this is just a, a three-person uh, kayak. The other ones are two. So got all the family going. It's very good material, fabric, so the dog can swim with us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's this big sign? No longer public access. What? Yeah, well, anyway, okay, the big deal here is that there are no rubbish collections in the Lake District or Oldswater, so our rubbish has to be taken back home. 
This will no longer be a beauty spot if you leave your rubbish behind. And I'll give this in foreign translations as well. Am I allowed to use the word foreign? Listen, they're all friends to me, so, you know, the Polish, Romanian, Persian, Indian, whoever. W parku narodowym nie ma żadnych śmieci, więc weź śmieci do domu. Dziękuję. Nu există colecții de gunoi în parcul național, așa că vă rugăm să luați gunoiul dumneavoastră acasă. Mulțumesc! Jatio Uddan Gulite Kono Janjar Shangruho Nedai Aknar Aborjona Barite Neben Khannubar. Astria Uddan Me Koi Bakwas Sangreh Nahi Hai, Isie Kripaya Apne Bakwas Kharko Dhanyavad Dei. How long have you been fishing here then, Gary? Oh, last time I fished here was over 40 years ago. Oh, crikey. Right, but it would start raining on you. Yeah, so my first time back and it's chucking it down. Never mind. Oh, it's a beautiful part of the world. Here it is. Oh, thank you very much, Gary. Very welcome. Yeah, good luck. Okay. Oh, just bear with me folks, let's just have a quick look at this. Okay, it says ramp to shoreline with wheelchair symbol. I just wonder how wheelchair friendly this is. The first, the start there, it was quite steep banks on the sides of these uh, on the size of this path. For those going down to 40 meters plus, and this is going to sound really strange, but there is a like a hard material with a swirling effect to it, about the size of an elephant's ear. Break some off and bring it to the surface. This is a heavy, weird formation. I still have no idea what it is or how it's formed. So if anyone has any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. For those in the 10 meter area, or those coming out of the depths looking for the deco, you'll also find lots of branches and bottles stuck into the silt. That's just us local guys saying we've been here first. Okay, in the, in the antiques department, if you feel gently into the silt, you may find some old bottles and vintage clay or pot water bottles. In the fishing department, uh, look for the fishing tackle and the odd angler's brolly blown in. Uh, they may turn up. You never know what you're going to find here, including inflatable kayaks, uh, which are now sunken. So enjoy the treasure hunting, guys. Can I also please advise you that if there are strong winds blowing on the surface, you'll get strong currents below. So beware. There was one occasion I'll tell you about where we had to actually dig our hands into the silt to pull ourselves along. You'll be relieved to know that's only happened once in 20 years of my diving in this lake. We local divers have called this the body layby. Now there's no easy way to put this. But if anyone passes away in this lake, disappearing for a while, this is for some reason the area where the body is most likely to turn up. So if you discover anyone down there, you'll need to mark the location. Please don't disturb the body, but come to the surface and get a triangular fix on the location that you surfaced at. It's just a case of 999 and inform the local police. Ponowad Amar Bamali Bunture Shatze. Z podziękowaniami dla moich przyjaciół w języku Hindi. Mire Bhartie Mitroko Dhanewad. Dziękuję moim polskim przyjaciołom. Mulcumes Prie Tenilor Mi Roman. This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below, we love reading them, thank you.